Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this episode is gonna be a little weird. This is one of my favorite games on Cool Math Games. And I know, it's like Cool Math Games, but it's such a fun game once you start getting the upgrades and stuff. Ah, mm -hmm. adds. Too bad I have an ad blocker. So. Yeah, me having an ad blocker also prevents me from going full screen, so I apologize for that. But yeah, this is like by far one of my favorite games on Cool Math Games. Which, for some people, mm, doesn't mean that much, because <laughs> there's not many good ones on here for some people. But. I actually quite enjoy cool math games. This was my childhood computer class, just sitting there wasting time, breaking bricks. I, I'm one of the nerds that actually has a profile on here, so it saves my progress for some games, which I'm not proud to admit that fact, however, <laughs> it is a fact, nonetheless. So, th this is basically just a game where it's a peaceful clicker, I have some music on in the background because the sound effects for the game are ear piercing and annoying, um, but yeah, this is just a game where you break bricks. You upgrade, you can upgrade your click, which actually helps quite a bit, because now I can break these threes with one click. But yeah, basically just buy upgrades. It gets very chaotic in the later levels, because you have like a hundred plus balls on the screen, and Luckily, I have a good enough graphics card that I hope it doesn't blow up my computer. Uh, when I was playing this on my laptop, it very frequently caused my laptop to just give up. <clears throat> so the plasma ball actually does AoE damage. So you hit one brick and then it hits two, up, two around it, usually, yeah. So you. So that one's really useful. Uh, you actually have a limit of 50, as you can see right here, uh, which comes into play in later levels because you start to unlock different types of balls, like you have the sniper ball. Um, later you get all the way up to here, like you get six types of balls that you could choose from. and. Um, you have to pick and choose which ones would benefit you better. You have to like strategize and see which ones, like what you want your breakdown to be. See, that is a very, very useful power up because it basically just wins at lower levels. Ah, here we go. Some more not ads. <laughs> See, I just upgraded the speed a whole bunch on those yellow balls, and now they're moving a lot faster and hitting a lot more. Now I can upgrade the power of them as well, and the power of my click. So now I can break up to 10 power bricks. Which later in the game, you get up to like the thousands in these powers, which is pretty insane. Then there's also a prestige function. Uh, so, let's see if I can find where it is. It gives you these things called black bricks. 
Um, where is it? Hmm. Maybe it'll pop up when I'm able to do it. There we go. There's the effects. And then I'll do an upgrade on the range. That's really useful for that plasma ball. also have these uh, power-ups, so you look uh, at the demon core, that's what was just activating. It deals waves of damage across the screen, snowball actually builds up and becomes like a giant ball by the end of it, and it can break like 50 power bricks. And then this is two times gold, uh, click frenzy, so you basically click a whole bunch and it spawns a whole bunch of extra balls for you and then earn double the money for swamp that's pretty self-explanatory um i'm going to there we go that'll be useful we haven't even gotten like i'm sorry if this is a little boring It's a bit of a peaceful video though. Something you can just relax to. Uh, but yeah. We haven't even gotten to the crazy parts of this game yet. Trust me, it does actually get really chaotic. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can, but it runs pretty slow in the beginning of the game. Kind of a fun challenge to see how fast I can get to the later levels. Of course. I might actually skip, like, switch games halfway through too. Because if this gets too grindy, I don't want to keep boring you guys but I'm trying to just get to the fun part you know an auto clicker would definitely help with this <laughs> luckily I have this new mouse that runs really pretty good oh this is also a funny thing about it uh, it pops up little facts about like just balls in general like the spherical shape of a ball. Sometimes it'll be like mathematical facts or just random stuff that it brings up. Like, yeah, sometimes it makes no sense. But sometimes they're really cool, like the juggling one. And they are different. I've played this too many times that I care to admit, and they are different every single time. It's actually impressive that they have that many <laughs> facts just ready to pull out from a program like that. I guess this can also be a little bit of a get to know me kind of video too. Uh, so I was a college student for a year. Uh, I'm planning on going back, but for the moment I'm taking a little bit off uh, just to get a break and get myself situated. Uh, I'm going into genetics. Um, specifically genetic research into genetic disorders. Um, it's just a really interesting field. And I'm very passionate about it. Uh, that the passionate thing is uh, pretty personal, like why I am. But uh, 
yeah, that's really what I want to go into in the future. I feel like I can help a lot of people through it. I was actually going to Baylor University for a little bit, which was an amazing experience. Um, but yeah. That's me. I'm a choir, theater, uh, band kid. Absolutely love the fine arts. I love acting as well, as demonstrated by theater. I played Colonel Mustard in high school when we did the production of Clue, which was really fun. Um, yeah, he's... <laughs> I've changed his character profile so much. Um, it, was, it was really funny. Saturn is the least spherical planet in the solar system. That's interesting. Wow. I would not have thought about that. I guess it's one of the gas giants, so... If it has uneven masses in like the outer, I guess it would be like, wow, because the earth is an ellipse, or not an ellipse, but uh, it's not fully spherical. So that's actually really interesting. I play clarinet, which really fun instrument. Uh, of course, as a woodwind, I have to have a vendetta against the brass. Uh, it's just required. Um, band at Baylor was, oh, it was amazing. Uh, college football, whole new, whole new world. Um, it's so involved, the students have so much spirit. Like, at high school, when I went to high school, it was... It was fun to go to the football games, but we had a really bad football team. <laughs> so, the only reason anybody ever came to the game was to watch the halftime show for the band. And most of the time it was band parents. So... What ended up happening is the second half of the game was always just dead, because everyone would leave. Uh, so I got really boring really quick for the band. Because we had... Um, we had to stay until third quarter, or the end of third quarter. And uh, regardless of whether we were winning or not, or if it was a blowout game, like, we had to stay. Which... I was fine doing. I I was one of the bigger school spirit people at my in my band, so I was I was fine with it. Everybody else was complaining though. That's the only reason I sounded annoyed with it was because I had to listen to everybody else complain. <laughs> I could care less. I like just watching football regardless of whether like we win or not. But a whole bunch of people just got upset about not winning and then complained and ruined it for the rest of the people. Um, but yeah. I'm just kind of rambling because I don't know what to talk about, so. Yeah, you guys can see it's, it's getting a little faster now. I, I highly recommend this. It is so just... Like, if you ever want a game just to, like, brain numb, this is, this is it. It's so fun just to click and watch the bricks turn into different colors. Like, I guess that's ADHD brain, like, popping in and... Yeah, but it's really fun to me. Ooh. This ball's really cool. It, every time it hits something, it shoots off more. And uh, 
those actually deal damage to the bricks, but they can only hit once. Three goblet sounds interesting. I think I might do, I'll get to level 35 and then I'll switch games. I know that this is not the most riveting gameplay. Uh, not like my Overwatch videos, which the first one was an hour long. I'm so sorry about that, by the way, if you watch that. Uh, I'm starting out. I don't know how to, I don't know how to YouTube yet. Uh, Brigadero. Aw, oh, I missed it. Uh, I don't know how to YouTube yet. So, still getting the hang of it. Uh, I did not mean for that episode to be an hour and eight minutes long. It got very intense very quick. Uh, because I got really carried away with just playing. Because I was playing competitive mystery heroes, which I love competitive mystery heroes. Most of the time. Most of the time. Uh, I'm 4 and 2 right now, which is pretty good. So I'm probably gonna place and get into like Silver 1 or something. Uh, but yeah. That's one of my favorite game modes. I'm really happy they brought it back. Because it, it scared me for a bit, because they took it off. And then. They ended up bringing it back, which I was really happy about. Oh, I'm way past level 35. Okay, we'll get to level 40 and then I'll switch. There we go. Let's see what this three goblets game is. I kind of think it's funny how they have these, like, off-brand, big-name games. Yeah, we're gonna not... I'm confused. Click to select the monster you... Like this, it automatically compares so you can see what's better. Um, oh, the forge. Okay, here it is. This is cool. Okay. And then I have one point again. I'll do damage since those monsters are getting pretty high up there. One skill point. Oh, 
this is this is really cool. Ooh. Oh, there's different rarities. Okay. I'm geeking out right now. This is such a fun game. <laughs> attack speed and four armor. Thirty-eight max life. Definitely better. I don't have a shield yet. Okay, and then I can dismantle all of this. And I can go into the forge. Now I'm gonna dismantle all that, because that was useless. Uh, one point. Look at max life. Whoa, that went up a lot. Okay, I don't have any more skill points. I wonder if there's like, um, you get like more shield from this area and more attack stuff from this area. Oh my gosh. Now I can do that. Uh, I'll go damage again. skill points. I would be, like, I think I kind of like the fact that it doesn't tell you stuff. It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. It forces you to, like, critically think and, like, figure stuff out for yourself. If I, okay, I think I know what it is. Okay, if you, one second, let me think. Go attack speed. Uh, if you upgrade it and then you wait and upgrade it again, I think it'll give you a better reward. definitely better to target the higher health creatures first. Uh. Ooh, that might be useful. I think this is better though for right now. Then I can max life. Then I need to go back and maximize my items. Ooh, way better. 144 max life. armor. I feel like that's filling up less now. Oh, I wonder if this is like when you get skill points. That was a really good choice. Uh, and I will go. We need more damage. 49 armor, 51 armor, 66 armor. There we go. Okay. 40 damage, 85 damage. Wow. 205 max life way better. And then I will get rid of all of this. 
then I think if I wait before I grab that, then it'll upgrade. That regen skill was a really good choice. Awesome. Uh, okay. I'll go. Let me actually see what my items are first so then I can strategize. Okay, so now my damage is pretty high. My armor is pretty high. I'll go attack speed because I don't want to really replace that. I won't get rid of that though. Ooh, I didn't check if I had skill points. That's just a base attack. I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll go there next. Um, I will go max life. Why not? And I am gonna wait to collect that. Yeah, my health is going way far, way better now. Yeah, let's target the big guy. Oh, he attacked way too quick. Okay, 133 damage. And then this should get me to the next forge level. Okay, that was... I think I did it wrong. Oh, and it just gives, okay. Whoa. I think I'll sacrifice that three damage to get that attack speed. Uh, 15, ooh. My armor is pretty high, so I will sacrifice that. So 
I think that white bar is actually the the quote unquote level up when you get these points. Um, damage will help a lot. Ooh, that's just better. Oh, I'm not gonna sacrifice. I'm not gonna get rid of. Yeah, that's worth it. It's a big enough difference. Oh yeah, that damage was needed. Wow, he didn't even get a hit off. Oof. That reaction time, you gotta have. Okay. 468 max life. Ooh, way better. attack speed. We're just really going up on that. Ooh, yeah, I'll go for that. Then I'll upgrade my max life just to make up for that loss. Oh, so you can change the skills. That's cool. So you can just undo it. Ooh, that's... I wonder if that's for the first three seconds of the whole thing, or first three seconds when you move to a new... Uh, I don't know. Hmm, that's really good. Ooh, that? attack is a sweep. That's more useful. Okay. Now let's test this. Wow. Okay, that sweep is really useful. Ooh, red. See how that sweep is affecting things. You can also see how that uh, when we're fighting three monsters, one. Where is it? Yeah. Items. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dead again. I have a lot of items now, though. Looks cooler. <laughs> um, where am I missing things? Probably damage. I can get rid of all this. Probably upgrade. 
upgrade something in the forge. Ooh, that's useful. Okay. Fourth attack is a fireball. Whoa. Ooh. That's really good. I'm definitely going for that. I love life steal abilities in any game. That is immediately where I go. I guess that's my warlock coming out. Oof. That was... that was hard. Yeah, no, this is good. This is getting a little grindy. Sometimes I'm okay with that. This game is... It's fun enough that it's okay to be grindy for a little bit. Once I get past these dragons, is what I'm gonna call it quits. this round, hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of, oh yeah, we got a lot more experience for those ones with the more hit points, okay, so, None of this is useful, it's all going to the forge. I get something from the forge, what is it? Ooh. I get rings now. I'll upgrade to damage. That's really useful, actually. Uh, yeah, that's way better all around. Uh, that's not shift. <laughs> okay, this should be the last one, if I time it right. I need to retain life for it. Oh, so close. Okay, this might make the difference. That looks like it might. We are nowhere close to something in the forge. Switch sides. <gasps> no, so close. Oh my god. Uh, damage. Micro damage. for the blue items. I 
finding myself like click a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, for the next one, I'm gonna go. Um, attack speed for the next upgrade I get. Okay, hopefully this will give us something. speed though that's where we're oh it's so close I think if I if I go down a level I'll be able to get a whole bunch of stuff experience maybe no I just get free items though but they're all gonna be bad yeah it, I mean it's build up for the forge I think I need to get to this next experience point though there we go that might be the difference That's gonna be the difference. That made it. That's worth it. And then this is gonna be... I have certain this is going to be it. Yes! Okay. There we go. That's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for sticking around if you did. Uh, I'm happy this got to be a little bit of a get to know me. Uh, and I hope you guys discovered some new games on cool math games that might be fun to just play in your downtime that don't require downloads and stuff like that. So, yep. Have a nice day, guys.